to the last, the last Fantasy World Cup live. Later on, we'll be recreating the greatest final of all time. And we'll be saying a big hello to David Baddy. Hello, <laughs> I'm David Baddy. <laughs> hello. Yes. Hello. 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 <laughs> and yeah. he, he really is called uh, David Baddy. Look. Yeah, yeah, look. <laughs> David L. Baddy. Yeah, L. For Lionel, if yes, I'm not mistaken. Yes, Lionel. <laughs> Lionel is a very cool name. Lots of cool people have it. LL Cool J's real name is Lionel Lionel Cool J. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he do Because it's a bit of a naff name, really. It is, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, we're running out of football sound lights. That's the best we could come up with. I mean, it was either that or this Colombian suggestion. And we'll be saying a big hello to Val the Llama. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Val the Llama. Here's a few things we've noticed from watching France 98. It's been a bad competition for referees. Perhaps things could be improved by using female officials, who have, of course, been welcomed into the game by the modern football professional. Vadar, offside. Women are applauding that at home. <laughs> Claire Short's on the phone. And it's been a bit of a bad World Cup for Bobby Robson because he doesn't know where he is. And we're not talking about taking 14 players to Italy. Uh, uh, sorry, um, taking 14 well, players to, to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> to Spain. <laughs> It's been a bad World Cup for goalkeepers, but any prospective keepers watching should still remember the golden rule. Always blame your defenders. And if there's no defenders around, blame something else. series, we've spent hours writing clever introductions to all these funny clips we show, but we got to this one and we just couldn't be bothered. So, question. Why do linesmen's fingers smell of shit? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, uh, now... dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. My Not sister sir, watches it. Sir, Nora. My sister Nora, Nora yeah, watches yeah, this. Nora I can't believe appalled. it. Yeah. And now more from Yorkshire Television's Marvellous in... Tonight, Fred introduces the ladies' darts final with perhaps the least glamorous photograph in the history of television. We've seen some upsets in the competition, but nobody could argue the toss over two lasses' rights to being at the kill. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yes, Stato. You've been called for by the audience. How are you, mate? Yes, very well. Yeah. Have you got a letter for us? Yeah, I've got this one. It's from Lizzie Hughes and Trent, and it says, Dear Frank, Whatever you do, don't listen to all the people asking you to shave off your sideburns. I'm a professional hairdresser and think they're really fashionable, so don't get rid of them. <laughs> oh, goodness really me. Really fashionable. No, I'm fed up with your sideburns, I've got to be honest. They're a bit, for a start, they're a bit ginger and wiry and things. <laughs> That's the Irish. No, uh, sometimes I sit here, I think I can see Mick Hucknall's pudenda out the corner of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely uh, dreadful. If you sit here long enough, you probably will. He comes this way most Saturdays. Let's Ooh. ask the audience what they think. Can we have a show of hands? If you like Frank's sideburns, can you put your hands up now? 
don't like them, they think they should definitely go, put your hands up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got Wolves fans giving me fashion advice. <laughs> Put their hands up both times, I noticed. But so, <laughs> what do you reckon then? Well, I'm sticking with them. I can't believe it. All right, I'm going to have to read you this letter. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to have to read it for you. Make you upset. Dear Frank, I'm a big breasted blonde in my early 30s. Genuine letter. I really, really fancy you and would be happy to have sex with you at any time or place were it not for those stupid sideburns. <laughs> Lots of love, Bridget Nielsen. <laughs> oh. oh, no! That will be the door. No, I've got to shake Bridget Nielsen. It'll be Bridget, I think. I'll get drunk by osmosis. It's Stephen Togerton and Greg Rosetsky. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. Welcome back, Stephen. Thank you very much. I'm back. missing them already. Yeah, Are so you? am I. What do you think? <laughs> Are you feeling the cold now? Um, it's not too bad, actually. I've, I've got into the habit of playing with them, which is not a good habit. It's no. something that teachers do, isn't it? <laughs> so, <laughs> in case <laughs> anyone's wondering, thinking they've been false, they were, they did, they were real up until tonight, but I've got the... Uh, these are the actual... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they've been sprinkled, they're like iron filing, so that's... <laughs> that's the real that's ones. That's me before and after there, look. Yeah. And that's the sideburns, and that's my autograph. Yeah. And we're going to auction it. All set, everything's got to go. Yeah. And everything. it's all for the old, uh, the Bobby oh. Moore cancer fund. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, we're having a proper right. auction. You can buy anything on this set. Stato uh, you can buy? Yeah, you can. Yeah. 50p. Great. For the... Yeah, you two, you can yeah, buy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you two... Well, if you like. Well, yeah. It's got a good cause. Change of a five, have you? Yeah. So, yeah, you can buy the whole thing. Yeah. Greg, you're... Three I've just noticed, the audience. Greg, Greg are, you related to, are you related to Richard Keyes? Because you've got really hairy <laughs> hands. I've just noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, no relation, unfortunately. Okay. Thank heavens for that. Welcome, by the way. We haven't even said hello to you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing all right, thanks. Yeah? Did you, watch, did you watch the match tonight? Yeah, I did watch the match tonight. What, what did you think? I mean, it's a bit difficult to get through the third place playoff. Well, it's always tough. I mean, yeah. there's not really any goal there. If you win, you know, it's not like you're going to win the World Cup. There were Cup, some goals, I remember. Getting... Yeah, well, there were a few goals. <laughs> well done, you came third. That's yeah, a, yeah it's weird. not great, is it? Yeah. Yeah. If they had that at Wimbledon, who'd turn up for the third place? Well, I don't think anybody would turn up, to be quite honest. No with players? You. No, no players. No, no point. It's a lot of I've been to Wimbledon once. And uh, there's a lot of um, girls there following the tennis players, aren't there? <laughs> grinning. <laughs> You're grinning, Greg. Well, that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do you ever give them a service? <laughs> Yet. No, he hasn't. No, I haven't said no. no. My girlfriend's watching. Yeah, that's no. so I'm in trouble. Well, uh, yeah, obviously he yeah. meant no. Yeah. Well, I'll okay. tell you afterwards, though. <laughs> so okay. nothing to say then. <laughs> that's <laughs> nothing to say. Oh about look, third my, my sideburn stuck to that water bottle. Is it? That is horrible. So yes. I might drink that. Sold the third place. Who cares about that? Yeah. The final. We're going to the final. We are. Well done. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Um, ITV gave ITV. us a ticket each. Yeah. We're just really Very pleased nice about it, so we're just telling everybody. What are you no, booing for? There's sort of pressure cooking. Why are audience. you booing? Yeah. What are you booing for? Just because you have. You come there. here, which means you might like us, but you don't want us to have a nice day out. <laughs> <laughs> hey? But at least we're an fan, I can understand. With, Su <laughs> with Suka scoring tonight, that now means Ronaldo's got to get a hat trick, and if he's going to get, get something that came out of tonight's game, I suppose. That's true. Ronaldo, does he have to get a hat trick? To go. How many yeah, goals has Ronaldo got, Stato? Two, two to three, share it. Two to share it. Three to go on. Three to you share it? it. Yeah, right, they is that like have. a big slipper? Half a boot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Brazilians, here's a quiz question for you. How many goals right, did Pele score in his career? Yeah, hmm. 1,200 and something. Oh, well done, Greg. Yeah, the official figure, right, oh, is... Christ. I've got it all here. 1,282. I remember, do you remember at Pele's thousandth goal was a big event on the telly and all that? And I used to, we used to sit and talk about yeah. it. So I always he got a real bee in his bonnet about it. I always used to say it to Dave, like, 1,200 goals in a career. Bollocks, yeah. I used to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's how 
own life. <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, how many goals? I mean, how long did he play? Say, 20 odd years, right? It's like 60 goals a season, right? It's impossible. So I actually got one of our fabulous research team, and they're good. Mm. <laughs> they're very good. <laughs> and they looked it up, and this is all actual fact here that Pella 504 goals, right? Proper goals yeah. in his career. And the rest, the other. Now, 618 if you include internationals, right? But 664 of his goals were in friendlies, exhibition matches, and games played when it's before he turned professional. School matches. This is absolutely true. Yeah. He scored 618 goals in his career, which is great, but it's not 1,200, is it? And the rest is just ball. Absolute ball. We might see him tomorrow yeah. at the final. And we'll tell him. Okay, yeah. Pelle! <laughs> 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 Leave her alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm so glad you got that. It's a fact that though. What a bloody con man. So anyway, so how many do you reckon you've scored then? But I don't go around. I haven't come on <laughs> in and celebrated my thousandth joke. Have I? <laughs> no. And then find out I've done like nine. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them was on Richard and Judy. <laughs> so Brian Moore's his last game. Brian Moore's last Sad. game. Oh. Well, in a way, that's quite good, though, because you never, you know, a lot of people would normally perhaps watch the BBC coverage, but there's a really good reason to watch the ITV coverage for once. And yep. it's a wrong thing to say, isn't it? But none of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking a terrible Now there are many myself. good reasons. <laughs> Thank you for the ticket. This Stop really is your last show, isn't it? <laughs> I, but, think, I don't think there's been much in it this World Cup. I think ITV is pretty, pretty good, don't you? Yeah. 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 They haven't got Des, but how long's Des got? Another six or seven years? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the x-rays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, uh, say that. Sorry. We, uh, oh, we love Brian Moore, though, although we think his grasp of the game is not quite what it used to be. Biggs. Biggs. Do you, uh, do you ever watch yourself, Greg? Do you ever watch myself? I mean, play tennis. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you say, would you go home and watch sort of Wimbledon match of the day? If you yeah, usually I watch the match of the day in the evening. It's always a lot of fun. And uh, you just see what you've done right and what you've done wrong. And uh, I didn't really want to watch too much this year, to be honest with no. you. No. Well, none of us did. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, cup on, for goodness sake. Right. Well, so, but who's, the best, who's the best tennis commentator, would you say? Um, well, I think Sue Barker is doing very, very good. I mean, she does a very good job, and I like the way Pat. <laughs> oh, well, well, that's all right. And, uh, I, I like the way Pat Cash does it. I think he does very good commentary. <laughs> 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 well, it's like carry on tennis here. Yeah, we're carry on tennis. You end those. I like the way Sue Barker does it. Uh, no, she's very good, Sue Barker. I didn't, get anywhere, <laughs> didn't get anywhere with Cliff. Yeah. She tried, God bless her. <laughs> I used to call her Lemming. Hey? She went suicidal over Cliff. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like it? Yeah. yeah, why not? <coughs> who'd, who'd, who's going to replace? Who, uh, who do you think will replace Brock? Do you know Stato? I don't know if you know Stato. He's a commentator. Yeah, yeah well, could you do it, Stato? Yeah, yeah, no, I think Clive Tilsley will replace uh, Brian Moore. Oh, you're yeah. such a name Clive dropper. Tilsley. Roger no, Moore. I think he will. I think he's, he's good as well. Do you? Yeah, exactly. Good. Stato likes Clive Tilsley. You heard it here yeah. first. It's yeah. official. Yeah. It could have been Eurosport commentator Archie McPherson, were it not for this terrible moment when, if you listen closely, right, you can hear him shuffling desperately through his notes to find out who the substitute is. <laughs> and 19-year-old Harry Kuehl coming here to the sidelines being substituted. <laughs> and Graham Arnold now coming on in his place. <laughs> Sorry, we're having Sorry, a bit of a chat then, chat, yeah. about what to do next. Yeah. And I said, shall we drop the commentators? And Dave said, no, let's do them. Yeah. So, no chat for you guys. <laughs> okay. okay. Or shall we have a chat? What do you prefer? Let's have a chat. Okay, okay we'll so <laughs> It's tonight's World Cup Talking Point. World Cup Talking Point! <laughs> right, now tonight's... Uh, <laughs> tonight's World Cup Talking Point is what has Ron Atkinson got in his bookcase? What do right. you think? Imagine no, Ron Atkinson's bookcase. private bookcase yeah, inside of yeah. his bed. What, yeah. what sort Possibly of book do you think Ron's got? More jewellery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's got any is books Is there a book called that? No, what do you think? What do you read, say, you know, one of those Andy McNabb SAS books? Yeah. 
No? Dick Francis. Yeah, yeah. possibly. I think sort a solid biography. Someone like biography of Jim Callahan. Something like that, I think. Mm. Not sure about that. What one. do you think, Greg? What do you think, Maybe Greg? A thriller. A thriller? thriller? Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Really possibly nice. a little erotic novel. I think. <laughs> <laughs> by George Hare. Yeah. Mm. And a health book called How to Make It Look Like You're Not Bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should read that. Huh? Yeah, you should read that. What do you think, Stata? Maybe, I don't know, he like, likes his music, great musician, something like that. Football, whatever. Does he like his music? Or like his <laughs> oh, yeah. I never knew that. Great musician. Well, I think that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't really work, and no. I blame Greg. <laughs> I blame he me as well. It, yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll never know those commentator's clips either. Never mind. Now it's time for one last walk down memory lane. <laughs> when we first arrived in Mexico, Guadalajara Airport, with all my mates around me. So. So. So off. So off ramp. And if you were wondering... Lenny Lottery. <laughs> it was Lenny Lottery, although apparently there are two Lenny Lotteries, and one of them is called Sir Lenny Lottery. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, and you can be prosecuted for getting them wrong. <laughs> Greg, you give me the impression you don't know who Lenny Lottery is. Uh, I have to say I don't. Do you read the tabloids at all? <laughs> I do. You should, you're in them sometimes, so yeah. it's, it's always good to... Yeah, Lenny Lottery <laughs> sort of... What's his role, would you say, in the lottery? He sort of symbolises the lottery. He wears a lottery suit. He is the lottery in many ways. Mm. A load of balls. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> He's sharp. And now it's time for another obscure World Cup lookalike tonight. Dutch goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar and Italian mouse Topo Gigio. <laughs> Come on. So, how do you feel about France 98? Do you think it's been a great World Cup, a good World Cup? Yeah, I think, I think it's been a good World Cup. Um, I would have liked England to do better, but uh, I think they gave it their best. And yeah. uh, I think Brazil have really showed their strength and their dominance, but uh, it was a great match between Holland and Brazil. Yeah. Where were Canada? Where were Canada? Um, <laughs> they, they didn't qualify. They, did, they tried to get me to play, but it didn't work out too well. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you just go back if you want to? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I'll, shall I, maybe if I call them up and ask them, see what happens. Do you yeah, play? Have you played football? I have played football, but unfortunately, I'm a one-legged footballer. I play. I play well with my left ankle, but that one's not working. Right. And uh, my right ankle is useless. So you should uh, use your feet. Like, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Right. What about you, Stephen? What do you think about it? I think the I think the new design of that ball has really backfired. They say it's supposed to make it faster, but there's been so many shots that have just disappeared over the bar. When I was used to remember, you know, screaming 40-yard shots raining in all the way through the World Cup. It? That could it's be that the players way. aren't as good, though. No. Could be. I was watching the Sky World Cup phoning mm. last night. And, uh, you mustn't watch those things. No, I do. That's <laughs> <laughs> when I have a night to relax yeah. from doing this, I watch yeah. that. And there's like Rodney Marsh and George Best and all them on there. And they were saying it's like the worst World Cup there's ever been. They thought it'd yeah. been rubbish. But they've been too drunk to see any of it properly, anyway. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that, are you? Okay, no, I'll take it back. Dave's <laughs> joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I'm looking for. Kill him! I come here, you fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to those retrospectives that both BBC and ITV are going to do, though, before the final. Those uh, sad little montages of everything that's happened in the World Cup. I like them. I love them. Yeah. Anyway, now it's time for our little look back at some of the highs and lows of this, the 16th FIFA World Cup. <laughs> To the director. Oh, I, I said, that. if you can keep it up to it, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I applauded. Yeah. 
fit good for us, though. We thought from the start there were a lot of very funny moments. Like, not everyone's agreed with that. Not everyone's agreed with that. Man. Amazing, a spot of comedy. I think we deserve that. The first real spot of comedy so far in the World Cup. Well, I wouldn't say that was fair, would you? <laughs> we'd, done, we'd done seven episodes by the time David Pleat said that, and he said yeah, that was the first fair. comedy in the World Cup. Yeah, that's not fair, is it's it? not fair at all. No, clearly David Pleat forgot about this. <laughs> So here we are then, it's the final at last, so we thought we'd recreate the greatest final of all time. England versus Germany, Brazil versus Italy, no. Mrs Loveday King versus Jesse Catterick. <laughs> So, Mrs. Loveday King, don't think of this as a football pitch in South London. Think of it as the Irish centre, Leeds. No, but this isn't a bit like the Irish centre, Leeds. This whole thing doesn't feel at all like indoor league. Well, in what respect? It's not drab enough. Can we have some drab people to stand around in brown clothes? <laughs> What about some of those terrible cutouts? <laughs> and look at this. Look at the state of that dartboard. Oh, it's brand new. Exactly. Didn't you see the final? It's concentrating on this final. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> okay, then let's do it. Frank, you be Freddie Truman. I'll be Jesse Catterick. And you, you be Mrs. Loveday King. <laughs> Are we on the air yet? Oh, do I really have to smoke this filthy... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> if you thought in Norway couldn't get any more drab, it's the ladies' darts final between Mrs. Loveday King from Cornwall and Big Ugly Jesse Catterick from Middlesbrough. <laughs> Mrs. Jesse Catterick from Middlesbrough. Going first. Mrs. Jesse Catterick from Middlesbrough. Going first. Five. <laughs> her opponent, Mrs. Loveday King. And her opponent, Mrs. Loveday King. Nothing. <laughs> Play requires four. Now she wants two twos, Mrs. Catrick. She's missed it. So Jesse bust on double two, leaving me double eleven to win the final. Mrs. Loveday King, who showed all the steadiness in the competition, needs two elevens for us. Yes! Yes! Come on, Mrs. Catrick! There she is, the pin-up of the public bars, the post of Publand and Clubland. The indoor league ladies champion <laughs> with 153 upper classes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Greg. And, uh, of course, there won't be any next week. Uh, before you go on, uh, there is something I have to tell you and tell the audience and, in fact, tell the nation at large, which is a, a short story, a real thing that happened. Uh, before we did this show, we did some publicity shots with the World Cup, me and Frank, the real World Cup, the one that will be held up tomorrow by the Dunga or Didier Deschamps. Here are the pictures. Have you seen the pictures? There they are. That's the real World Cup. 
And we'd spent a whole day doing these things. And then at the end of the day, Frank came over to a corner of the photography studio with the World Cup. This is true, right? Held it about here, <laughs> got his knob out and wiped it over the top of the World Cup. <laughs> And oh, God. <laughs> this oh, is this what is this? Uh, Nora, <laughs> this photo was taken immediately after he did it, actually. There was, I admit, that was terrible. This is ITV. There was, there was a smear. <laughs> oh. Oh, there was a so many men try to leave their mark on the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think any of the players will have kissed the World Cup already, though? Oh, God, I don't know. I think Zinedine Zidane might have done. We've upset everyone, finally. <laughs> oh, the, everyone's enjoying it. What a way to go it. out, eh? Oh. I wonder who this will be. <laughs> All right, Jeff. <laughs> Have you come as Brian Moore? I sure have. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> 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 <laughs>